Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Crack Nitsky. About to react to this vid by the generosity. It's titled, Internet Trends. Stupid internet trends. People are very dumb um, these days, and they see things online, and they just copy it. They're just little monkeys copying what everybody else is doing. Monkey see, monkey do. It's very sad. Anyway, let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. I don't know of any current trends, though, right now. I stay away from this side of the internet. <laughs> I remember that stupid ass Yeah, that's stupid. The internet is a haven of many things. Meme videos, music videos, X videos. The World Wide Web is a never-ending amount of information and media. And the biggest part of it, social media, is the way all of us can interact with each other no matter where we're from. And one of the most popular ways we interact online and relate with each other is with trends. When I Google the definition of internet Why trends, it defines it as a post or an idea that is hyped or popularized for a certain period of time. But I'd more describe it as people doing goofy sh just because it's fun and cool. The trend usually starting with someone random online doing a funny dance or making up a challenge or whatever, really. That person's video goes viral, then everybody who got a phone or a camera start participating. And the trend continues to grow and cement itself in pop culture till a multi-billion dollar company or politician joins in on it, making it uncool instantly. Killing the trend overnight, making us move on to the next big thing. This is the outcome for almost all trends and challenges. It's inevitable. All good things must come to an end. And as far as my opinion on them, I like most of them. As much as I hate on everything, really, I very much enjoy watching the latest trends. They're usually very funny or at least entertaining, Please even the dumb them. ones. Like the crate challenge, I liked it. Oh, yeah, that's I mean, you never bad. catch me doing that no, dance trend back then, but I sure was dying of laughter from others bailing at it. I, I don't really mind <laughs> stupid trends or challenges when it's amusing. If a real-life Hunger Games challenge started, I'd binge watch compilations of it. The trends or challenges I don't like, though, are the ones I don't understand. The ones that make me think, why would you do this to yourself? Who raised it? The school breaker challenge, where the challenge is you trip your friend on their back of their head and they get CTE. That, that's the challenge. What? The Benadryl challenge, where the challenge oh, was you eat sad. a bunch of Benadryl People die. and die. The Tide Bar challenge, just the names alone are dead giveaways. You're gonna die doing crazy thing. I never hear of half of these challenges till someone kicks the bucket from it. The news talking about local team dies from the drinking <laughs> down of elephant nut and butt juice TikTok right. challenge. And I'm thinking, who the f doing that? Doing that? Where did they obtain elephant ass juice? How did they even find out this challenge exists? Making me think they made it up. They're just trying to get freaky with an elephant. Those are the dumb challenges I don't be getting. You really trying to get viral that bad? It can't be that yeah. hard. Especially if you're a white girl. All you gotta do is say an onomatopoeia of you giving head, then gooners will make you set for life. It could all be so simple, but you rather make it hard by doing the, the wombat challenge or whatever the kids be doing nowadays. Treads, on the other hand, I look at them a little different. To me, it could be picked up on in everyday life, like in the way people dress, the way they talk, which new crypto coin to invest in how to steal a car. Trends are very various in its topics. And one trend I always thought was dumb was the money glitches, like the Cash App and recently the Chase Bank money glitch. Where if you don't know, people were able to write fake checks and deposit a bunch of money into their account. But turns out you actually weren't allowed to do that. So all the people who did do it, they weren't showering in money but instead took a bath and dick. Some of y'all thought you could actually walk away with free money like it's a Mr. Beast challenge. Nah, nigga, that was an unannounced loan that you have to pay back immediately. There ain't no such thing as free money unless you rob people or scamming grandma. Like, did we learn nothing from that Cash App glitch last year, which was basically the same thing? Now, I ain't gonna lie. I fell victim for those free Cash App glitches in the past. Like, in high school, I'd get those ads Free 500 via Cash App if you answer this survey and send us your account information. And me back then, being dumb and broke, I was like, shit, sign me up, I can finally cop a free I fill out the survey and send it over, and then they say my money will be there within a few business days. Next day, I then look at my Cash App to find some nigga, probably named Eduardo, spending my Cash App money on food. I ain't signed up for this, where my free 500? Since then, I ain't never trusted any kind of free money glitches that be trending. Although I'm pretty sure I just got scammed. But I digress. <laughs> How some of y'all fall for these free money glitches is beyond Nigga, me. you fell for it. Y'all just broke. You should still have some sense in it. 
But now you have no sense on you. Just know the next time a Wells Fargo free money glitch pops up, don't participate in it. It's a trap. Wells don't be Fargo? stupid. Which Wells takes Fargo me to this money. other thing, which is not really an internet trend or a challenge or anything like that. I just hate seeing people do it, and I have no idea how to bring this up in any future video. But cave exploring is the dumbest hobby I've ever witnessed. <laughs> I see videos and pictures of these dudes going through dark, small ass caverns where they have to wiggle like a worm for sometimes miles, wiggling on rocks, dirty water, and bat piss. And I'm just thinking, why? Who is this fun for? No. Who is this appealing to? This is just torture. There are some weird hobbies where I can see the appeal to. Skydiving looks like fun. Lemon parties, I love lemonade. But this? I, I can't. I can't with this. Where's the enjoyment? You're in a claustrophobic space. You can barely see or breathe, and you're like that for hours. And worse yet, the payoff. Because after you suffered in that journey, wiggling through the cave and rocks, you know what's going to be on the other side of all Come that? More rocks! It's a cave! But you think you're going to discover Batman? Not to mention you have to go back out. Nah, you might as well live there and get comfortable. Start learning the bat's language. They nice when you get to know them for real. They ain't nothing fun about this to me. And no offense to I'm the 20 people on the planet man. that like doing this. You do you, bro. But me personally, I like not dying. You feel me? Very huge tangent, but I needed that for what my next topic is. Because this has got to be the most literal brain rot shit I've ever seen. You probably already know it. It's that galaxy gas. A flavored nitrous oxide that the company advertises only meant to be used for cooking. Which, I'm not accusing them of anything, but I think they know who their main audience is. Now, I'm not accusing them of anything, but why I find a video of someone supposedly repping them, advertising it at TPE 2024, a convention that's done for businesses to network their products to people looking to invest in them. But the thing is, this convention is known for advertising stuff you'd only see in a smoke shop. It's on their website. It's on their IG. That, that's their main target. I'm not accusing them of anything, uh, though. But it. also, if you look through the TPE website and look through the list of their sponsors, you can find them right next to Geek Dextrax, right there. Uh, I'm not accusing them of anything, though. Because technically, anybody could advertise whatever product they're selling at this convention. But I'm not accusing them of anything, though. But I doubt I see Gordon Ramsay yeah, trying to sell spatulas it. at this kind of convention. I'm not accusing them of anything. Yeah, this is meant for cooking, but most people aren't using it for that. Most people are using it to get zooted. Kinda already said this at the end of my last vid, that stuff literally kills brain cells. But at this point, I feel like everybody already knows that. Niggas just don't care. I'm stating the obvious. Feels like I'm telling people, don't eat the paint chips off the wall when saying this. Like, no, duh. We all know the harms of it by now, but dudes still out here buying and posting their gas on their socials, showing off as if they're doing a money spread or something. Niggas flexing being retarded. Folk making jokes saying that CIA won, but I genuinely think they have. I thought people would know better by now not to do this stuff. Like, have y'all not seen Requiem for a Dream? Or any episode of Ren and Stippy, because ain't no way they were sober making that. We already know the effects that these things have on the mind and body. Yet dudes are still using galaxy gas. And in my head at this point, it's just natural selection. You know, someone once said, don't save her. She don't want to be <laughs> saved. Which I view that quote meaning, mind your business, because you already told them a million times not to. So sure. let them rot. I believe Genghis Khan said that. Genghis Khan. I ain't got much more to add on this situation that hasn't already been said a million times. But if you're using gas, you dumb as a brick. Everybody around you think that too. I yeah, this is just really stupid. But a lot of kids follow these trends. So I do feel a little bad because they're slow. <laughs> kids, are, kids are a little slow, right? Their brains aren't even fully developed yet. So... You know, of course, they don't really understand what they're doing. I blame their parents more than anything. They should be watching them a bit more closely. But a lot of parents just give their kids, you know, internet access. And it's like, all right, don't bother me. I got to work or I got to go do something else. Go entertain yourself. And they do entertain themselves while being online all day. And then they follow this stupid shit. So, very unfortunate. But, yeah, funny video. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!